How did we get so many mango varieties in sunny South Florida? Did they come from seed? Are they grafted? How does this happen? That's the rabbit hole we're going down. So let's cut to the chase and talk about mangoes and how we got all these varieties. But first, let's thank these two little rascals for keeping Connor and Iris so busy that they allow Grandpa to do the video and editing. Thanks. So, mangoes came from India and Southeast Asia. There's documentation going back to 4000 BC. And in the late 1800s, mangoes were brought to Florida. In 1902, they were planted here for the first time and we had the Hayden mango. There's our winner. There you go. So, in West Palm Beach, a town that was about to be called Magnolia Park, but couldn't be because there was already a Magnolia Park, changed their name or proposed name to Mangonia Park and made up a word because it's so many mangoes growing here. And that's the story about Mangonia Park in West Palm Beach. So every time a seed is planted, a new variety is created. And one way to keep the good varieties is to continue to plant seeds from the desirable fruits. But that's not going to guarantee the exact clone of what you were just eating off that wonderful tree you found. So grafted mango trees are the way to go to clone and get the exact same variety that you're eating. So if you want to eat another sweet tart mango, you're going to have to get a, a branch off of there and graft it onto it. Maybe a sugar loaf or any other mango rootstock that's growing. You're going to graft on a honey kiss and guess what? You're going to have a honey kiss taste in mango, just like the one from the tree before. And same for all of these. There have been seedling programs. One was spearheaded by Dr. David Fairchild, and he was introducing mangoes to Florida in the, back in the day. Um, commercial varieties, of course, they're going to be for the ones that, that do well in shipping, and nowadays mostly come from other countries and are restricted to a handful of varieties. But here in South Florida, you can become a mango aficionado, a mango maniac, and I think you ought to grow a minimum of six mangoes in your yard because some of them will give you food in July. Some will give you fruit in May. May, June, July, August, September. I think you need at least May through September to be raining mangoes in sunny South Florida because you can. Get yourself a pina colada. Eat that in June. Get a Rosigold, eat that in May. Get a Pickering, eat that in July. I'm telling you, peach cobbler, who knows when, but that sounds pretty darn tasty. We have so many mangoes, they just use numbers for some of these things. They're just endless varieties and so many good ones. They have <laughs> lots of numbers on them sometimes. So if you're down here, you need to grow at least six mangoes, five mangoes in my estimation, and not just the grocery store variety, there's plenty of flavors. Here's one that's probably not going to give fruit until late in the summer. This one probably not till September. So you need all of those growing. Now, like any day in the nursery, it's not all blue skies. Everything didn't go right today when I was filming. We have this. I was driving up there, I was going to load the guy with mulch, and I was driving up there with the grapple. I was like just about to push into the pile, and I just hear like, Kum! and just. So, kablooey, clean up on aisle three. We got hydraulic fluid that squirted out of the hydraulic pump for some reason. That wasn't really on the plan for today, but it it uh, needed to be cleaned up. So, got a little degreaser, pushed the broom around it a bit, and Connor handed the blower off to me to finish the job here while he walked around. So, let's talk about what's popping up next here in the nursery. We have coming up, we're going to be looking at a mature food forest that is grown by one of our favorite guys here, Tom. Tom has a food forest that I would estimate is going on over a decade in his backyard in Boynton Beach, so very mature. He's got some sections that are under construction, as will always be the case. And then eventually we're going to have to do an episode on bananas, because we are going bananas for bananas here at Incredible Edible Landscapes. We have every variety growing. They all seem to want to come out at once, and so we're going to be throwing them at hungry people and giving away with plant buys and, and finding some way to get these eaten up in banana bread, banana pudding, 
And come on back for some other weird fruits that are going to be profiled here. And thank you once again for watching. Cheers.